camp. We thank you for the spirit that has been imparted in us for your word says, the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. I thank you for the life that has been injected in us. And even as we round up, Lord, let your presence still be with us and help us and finish, oh God, whatever you've started in our lives. And everyone says, Amen. Hallelujah. All right. So I want to have a few people share with us your quiet times and then we move on from there. Who would like to share his or her quiet time? You want to share a quiet time? What's your name? Say again. Mami AC. Put your hands together for Mami AC to come and share her quiet time. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, put your hands together for Mami AC. Hey. Yeah. Come and share your very powerful quiet time. Let me give you a pulpit because you are a preacher. How many of you are preachers? Yeah, so when you come, you say, praise the Lord. Then everybody say, amen. They say, hallelujah. They say, is somebody blessed this morning? They'll say, yes. Then you, you, you preach. So stand on the pulpit. Are you here? I've, I've created a pulpit for her. Please, please turn your Bible to Psalm 37, verse 1. Psalm 37, verse 1 to 3. I think this is louder. Okay, Psalm 37, verse 1 to 3. Do not fret. So, you ask them, are you there? I there. Say, if you are, if you are there, say, say amen. So, tell them. If you are there, say amen. Oh, what do you say? Uh, if you are not there, say, help me, Jesus. Tell them. If you are not there, if you are not there, say, help me, Jesus. Hey, I say, ask them. Are you still not there? Ask them. Ask them. You are preaching. So ask them. I still there. Are you there? Okay. Okay. So let's turn your Bible. So everybody look into your Bibles and read. Yeah, read it. Do not fret because of evil men or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass they will wither, like green plants they will soon die away. Three. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. What did you learn from your quiet time? I learned that we should always trust God even if we are in trouble. Always trust God even if we are in trouble. Put us together. You see, and then, so, no, what you are preaching, wait, wait, wait. So you say, I see you trusting God in your trouble. Say amen. So you tell them. I see you trusting God in your trouble. Uh-huh. So put your hands together for her. It's a preacher. Amen. And if some of you will be preaching. I, I think I love preaching. Wow. The way the way Reverend taught us how to preach. I, I want to learn how to preach. Amen. Who else? Who else from the back? Who else? I'm not saying I'm Pastor Ben. Don't call me sir. I'm not being knighted. What's your name? What's your name? Pakwezi. Papa Kweku. Put your hands together for Papa Kweku. Papa Kweku, come and say a quiet time very quickly. Very quickly. Very powerful. So the first quiet time is that we should trust in the Lord when, when we are in trouble. So you don't trust God when you are in trouble. We should always trust God. We should always. When you are in trouble, when you are, you are eating your sausages. You should still trust God. Put your hands together for Papa Kweku. From which branch? From which branch? From Sakumono branch. Alright. Okay, so. Preacher Papa Kweku from the Sakumono diocese. So you say, so praise the Lord somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. Please turn your Bibles to Proverbs 15, verse 3. Please, are you there? If you are there, say amen. Okay. 
It says, it says, Dies of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. What I learned from it is that whenever you do bad or good, God will be watching you. And what you should do is always tell the truth. And what you shouldn't do is never tell lies and never steal. For the Lord will be watching you. Oh, amen. Powerful preaching. Wow. So, hey, shut up. I see you uh, um, telling the truth because God is watching you. Tell them. I see you telling the truth because God is watching you. Amen. May you tell the truth. Put your hands together for the with you. Hallelujah. So, I like the quite as very short to the point. Quite as you don't have to now go and read. Second Kings chapter three from verse one to sixty two. For your Christ, you learn anything? Just one verse, one thing that you learn, and that's it. One verse a day, one verse a day saves the day. Who else? Who else? Do you have some preachers in the house? Do you have some preachers in the house? What's your name? Come, what's your name? Hurry up, hurry up! Much like a soldier. No, no, no. The lady behind. No, no. The lady. Yeah. I'll do lady, guy, lady, guy, lady, guy. Are you protest? Are you soldiers? Amen. What's your name, my dear? Mary. Wow. Put your hands together for Lady Pastor Mary, all the way from what branch? From Atimota branch. Who is the, our convention speaker for tonight? Put your hands together and help me welcome Lady Pastor Mary. Hey, you're not excited. Hey, uh-huh. oh, so preach. Hallelujah. A quiet time is taken from Isaiah 30, verse 8 to 14. Where is Isaiah? Isaiah is before what book? And after what book? Hey, you don't know. If you are the same, eh? Hey, she says if you are the same, so ask them again. Hey, are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? <laughs> if you are the same, eh? Isaiah 30, verse 8 to 14. 8. Now go, write it before them in a table, and not it in a book, that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. That, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit. Get ye out of the way, turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One to Israel to flee from, from before us. Wherefore, thus said the Holy One of Israel, Because ye despise this word, and trust in oppression and persevere, pers- perverseness and stay there on. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a as a bridge ready to fall, swelling out of swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant, and he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel that is broken in pieces. He shall not spare, he shall not spare, so that they shall not be found in the bursting of it a shed to take fire from the head or to take water without out of the pit. Amen. Amen. I 
learned that we should be obedient. We should we shouldn't be like those prophets that ignored God and relied on violence and deceit. We should be obedient to both God and other people. Amen. Amen. We should learn that we should be obedient to who? Both God and other people. Put your hands together for preacher Mary all the way from Achimoda. Who else? We have some preachers in the house. I want somebody from the um, from the Ebury. Where, where are you from the Ebury Lighthouse? Where are they? Uh, you're not from, 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 you're from come and share. Put your hands together. What's your name? John, did you have your quiet time this morning? You didn't have your quiet time. Okay, where, where are your friends? Where are your other friends? Yeah, where? Where are you? Ebury. Oh, where are you? Jack, where are you? Oh, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, okay. What's your name? Charles. Charles. Put your hands together for Charles. All the way from every lighthouse children's home to share his very powerful fight time with us. Amen. Oh, he has a notebook. The title of my five time is Keepers of God's Law. Please, please open your Bible to Psalm 9. Psalm 119. Okay, Psalm 119. Keepers of God's Law. Wow. Psalm 119. One to three, so one, one, nine, one to three. It says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. Verse three. They also do not iniquity. They walk in his ways. And I learned that. I learned that if you walk in the way of the Lord, He will shower blessings on you. Amen. Amen. Oh, put us together for our powerful preacher all the way from the Lighthouse Children's Home in Ebury. Oh, put us together for him. He's learned that if you walk in obedience to the Lord, God will shower His blessings on you. Powerful. Wow, powerful. Who else? I'm enjoying your, your quiet times are very powerful. In fact, they are preachers. Quite time for preachers. All right. Mm. Come and share your quiet time. Hurry up. Did you have your quiet time? Oh, come and share. Put your hands together for her. We'll take about two or three more, and then we'll be out of here. Two or three more. Then we'll go for breakfast. I want us to do it quickly so that Reverend Oko can finish what he started. Is he okay? He's grown up. Uh, he's growing up. What's your name? Hillary. Hillary from where? Tema Cathedral. Put it all together for Hillary all the way from Tema Cathedral to preach to us this morning. Please, can you say um, a Bible to Psalm 23 verse 1? 
Psalm 23, verse 1. Turn to Psalm 23 verse. Is it Psalm 23? Yes. Okay, so read. Use the microphone. Are you there? Hey, he's talking to you. Are you there? The child soldier. Child soldier. The child soldier. Child soldier. Quiet. Oh. Uh huh. The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. He made me to lie in green pastures, besides quiet waters. It talks about God will care for your needs. I learned that God can. And God will take care of your needs. God will take care of your needs. Oh, so you tell them that I see God taking care of your needs in Jesus' name. Tell them. I see God taking care of your needs. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So say amen. Say amen. Put your hands together for Chloe from Tema. Hey, Hillary from Tema. Can I have some child soldier preacher around? Oh, I want to feel some child soldier preacher. The to the right there. Eh? Where? Oh. Hey, the mantle is on you. Come and check the house. Shall we? What's your name? Huh? Ah, uh, <laughs> Bishop Danny. <laughs> so welcome, Pastor Danny, all the way from Achimoda on this powerful convention night. He's going to give us a powerful message. Everybody scream! Yeah, yeah. Please, please open your Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Amen. Please open your Bible with me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Ja. Ja. Please open your Bible with me. Luke 17, verse 11 to 14. 17, verse 11 to 14. Hurry up. Luke 17. Powerful. Please are you there? Mm-hmm. If you are there, say amen. amen. As as Jesus continued to to Jerusalem, he reached the border between Galilee and Samaria. As he entered the village, ten little stood at a distance, crying out. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. He looked at them and said, Go, go, show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they, and as they went, their, lef- their leprosy disappeared. My, the title of my quiet time is Miracle for the Ten Lepers. The title for his quiet time and the title for his convention is Miracle. For what? For the ten leopards. Wow. Put it all together. Miracle. Uh, I love I love that Jesus showed pity on the leopards. So I should also show pity on other people. Wow, he learned that Jesus showed pity on the leopards. So he should also show pity on other people. So you see that receive the spirit 
of showing pity on other people in Jesus' name. So you tell them. I see you showing pity on other people. Amen. I receive it, brother. Put us together for Pastor Daniel all the way from Achimota. I want to have one or two more. One or two more. Okay, one judge. And then who else? Okay, so just put us together for Pastor George all the way from where? Hey, what part are you? Where's your t-shirt? You didn't get it. Oh. Oh, the, oh, I've come there. I've come. I've come there, but your faces are not very encouraging. Okay, put your hands together. All the way from which branch are you from? Uh, you are from the Kodesh. All the way from the Kodesh for our evening final session convention with Pastor John. Hallelujah. Amen. Ciao, soja. My quiet time for today is entitled The Narrow Way versus The Broadway. Yeah. It's taken from the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 and 14. Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 and 14. Matthew chapter 7, sorry. Hey, what's that? Okay. It says, Heaven can be entered only through the narrow gate. The highway to hell is broad, and its gate is wide enough for all the multitude who choose its easy way. But the gateway to life is small, and the road is narrow, and only a few ever find it. What I learned is that only a few find the narrow way to heaven. And also, it is not because, like, uh, like, heaven has a narrow gate, so plenty of people can't go through. It is because we as Christians, we do not talk to them about the narrow gate. Amen. Wow. Put us together for this powerful preacher who is taught us about the narrow way. One more, one more, one more, and then we go. I'm looking for... Put us together. Oh, eh, you play too poor. Pastor Ben, me, Pastor Ben, me. I'm calling you. I do your chaka, chaka on me. Have you, have you done your quiet time? Did you do your quiet time? Okay, so come. Hurry up. Much like a soldier. I want the nyaka poops and the nyaka pin. <laughs> oh, put your hands together. But where's your notebook? Eh, come on. Eh? Who are these people? What about these people? I don't know who they are. Who are you in particular? From Airport Branch and uh, and Kodesh. I don't know you. Uh, have you died? You've not died your quiet time. No, you have not died your quiet time. Oh! Is that... <laughs> oh, it's pretty. It's pretty. <laughs> one more. Okay, I'll keep one last one after her. Oh, you're keeping up, pal. Hey. Instrumentalist. Thank you very much. Thank you. Instrumentalist. Did you do your quiet time? Come. Come and show quiet time. And then, Osas, get ready. Get your notebook. Put it together. What's your name? About what's your Bible? Hey. Hey. And you should change your Bible, though. Hey. No, 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 no. You are disqualified. I can't come and preach with this Bible. <laughs> hey. I mean, how can you preach? Hey, your face like a watermelon. What do you mean? I'll introduce you anyway. Put it together for what, what's your name? From Papa Kwame with a small Bible from uh, where, what branch? From from Sakumono branch. Put it together for him as he says right now. Hallelujah. Counsel, yeah. Yes, sir. My quiet time was 
taken from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1. And it preached about forgiveness. If you are there, say amen. amen. If you are not there, say help me, Jesus. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. From verse, is it from verse 1? Verse 1. So use the mic. And you he made alive who were dead and trespasses in trespasses and sin. And what I learned is that we all are sinners, but when we pray to God to forgive us, he will forgive us and purify us from all our sins. And also, when others wrong us, we should also have the heart to forgive them. That's what I learned. From that. You learned that when others wrong you, you should have the heart to forgive. Oh, put it out together. It's a very powerful amen. Oh, clap for him. Hey, if you don't clap, I'll call you. Okay, one more. Is the breakfast? Is the breakfast ready? Put your hands together for Brother Osat all the way from Connect. Ah, but why is your notebook? You don't have a notebook. Oh, sit down, sit down, sit down. Jojo, you play bass. Okay, put it out together. For, I want to use my talent. Put it out together for brother Jojo, who is playing bass. To come and give us. It's my talent because you play, so you don't want to be spiritual. Hey, by your quiet time notebook is not nice at all. It's not a quiet time notebook. It's a citizenship education. Ah, why? Oh, no, 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 no. But it's your, it's your school exam, because you got 10 over 10, so you brought it to here to us that we can see. Ghana and her neighbors. What kind of quiet time is that? <laughs> uh, put it up together for Pastor Jojo all the way from Kodesh. You say a quiet time. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, please turn your Bible to John chapter 4, verse 16. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, you're wasting our time, bro. Oh, sorry. Um, John 4, 16. Oh, wait, I'm coming. I've made a mistake. Excuse me. Oh, John 14, verse 16, rather. Oh, hurry up. Oh, what's up? John 14, verse 16. And, and it, it says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you all at John 14, 16? And it reads, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. I learned that when Jesus left, he didn't want to leave us alone, so that we will backslide. So he left us with the Holy Spirit, who is our comforter. I learned that 
I must then desire and treat the comforter as though he was Jesus Christ himself, so that he may also bless me. Amen. So how do you do that? How do you how do you how are you planning to do that? Um by asking him to asking for him to come into my life. Asking the Holy Spirit to come into your life and, and what else? And by um, Okay, put us together for Pastor Jojo all the way from Kodesh. One more person. One more person. Last person. Last person for Jacob Camp 2010. Should I consider them? I want a very small Nyakapu. Nyakapu. Do you have your quiet time? Do you have your quiet time? Do you have your quiet time? Hmm. You see, they are not ready. I want someone who is ready, 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 ready. Do you have your quiet time? No. Who? Chantel, put us together for Chantel. For which branch? From Kesi Nungwa. Oh, everybody stand to your feet. Let's welcome our sister Chantel from Kesi Nungwa. Oh, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, that was for my introduction. I'm giving you a very nice introduction. Hurry up. Oh, she's coming. Put us together. She's come all the way. She has a word for us. Tonight, your life will not be the same. Oh, actually, hear the word of God. So we have in our midst our preacher, our guest preacher, all the way from Tessinungwa. Put it all together and make some noise from Pastor Chantel. You may please take your seat. Tonight will be the night. Learns that if you seek, you will find, and if you do what? Ask. If you ask, you shall receive, and what else? If you knock, the door will be open. And if you knock, a door will be open to you. Oh, put your hands together for her, and may you be seeking, and may you be asking, and may you be knocking in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. All right. 
We just want to go through the song that we learned yesterday. Lord, you are beautiful. And then we'll go for breakfast whilst they prepare. Because they are making noise. We can't hear. If you come, they can't hear you. There's so much noise. So let's sing the song. Go through it once. All the instruments are here. 